guys! Welcome back again sa ating YouTube channel. Now, for today's video guys is magkakaroon tayo ng 3-way comparison. I know na maraming nagre-request nito since kakalabas lang ng Realme 5. So, i-compare ko natin siya guys sa mga requested yung smartphones. So, Realme 5 versus Vivo Y12 and Samsung A10s. So, I know na excited na kayong makita kung saan sa kanila yung may mas hanip na performance sa gaming, sa battery, camera. So, guys, panoorin nyo itong video till the end. I would like to invite everyone to join my 150k subscriber giveaway and to know the mechanics you just have to look for my video i will give the link in the description box guys so good luck techies so without talking too much let's begin Okay guys, so first, ang pag-uusapan natin is yung kanilang design and build. So guys, pagdating sa build, actually, these smartphones are the same. Okay, they're made out of plastic and front glass. Yung difference nila guys is yung design nila. As you can see, si Realme 5, meron siyang diamond cuts. And the one I have is purple. So, crystal purple. And guys, uh, medyo hindi siya obvious dyan sa screen, no? Kasi nga purple yung color. So, hindi talaga siya may emphasize. Pero sa personal, guys, it's so nice and attractive. And next, ito naman si Vivo Y12. As you can see, si Vivo Y12, guys, is may reflective design din siya. Nagmumove siyang ganyan. And next is Samsung A10s. His A10s naman, guys, is very plain as usual. Makita nyo wala siyang 3D reflective design. Pero, meron din naman siyang mga glitters. So, depende na yun sa inyo, guys, sa preference nyo, kung ano yung mas bet nyo, gusto nyo yung plain lang, or gusto nyo yung may mga cuts-cuts, or may reflective light design. And so, now that we're done talking about their design, now let's proceed sa kanilang screen. Sa kanilang tatlo, makita nyo may mas malaking screen display si Realme 5. Kasunod nito is si Vivo Y12. And the last is the A10s. Since si Realme 5 meron siyang 6.5 inches screen display, si Vivo Y12 meron siyang 6.35, and si Samsung A10s meron siyang 6.2 inches. So, pareho silang tatlong HD+, plus guys. And now, let's go for their OS or operating system. So, guys, here, makita nyo si Realme 5 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 665. Si Vivo Y12 is powered by Mediatek Helio P22. And pareho sila actually ni Samsung A10s. So, yun. Now, pagdating naman sa kanilang RAM and ROM, guys, as you can see there. Ito si Realme 5. Meron tong maraming variants. Meron tong 4 and 128GB internal. And nagkakahalaga ng 9,990, which is the one I have. Pero meron din silang 3GB RAM and 32GB na nagkakahalaga lang ng 6,990. Actually, guys, ang feature is almost the same lang. Si Vivo naman nahawa ko ngayon, guys, is meron siyang 3GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. And, nagkakalaga siya, guys, ng 7,990. Next is Samsung A10s, guys. Ito naman, meron tong 2GB RAM and 32GB internal storage. So far, sa kanilang tatlo, ito yung pinakamababa yung RAM. Pero, ito naman yung pinakamura sa kanilang tatlo. It only has 6,990. So, ayan, nakita nyo na ako sa sa kanilang yung mas malaki internal storage and RAM. And, sa Antutu Benchmark scores naman nila, guys, magpapapin dyan sa screen. So, pareho silang tatlo, guys, entry level. So, that's why, okay din sila i-compare. So, tingnan natin yung performance nila later. By the way, let's talk about their batteries naman. So, sa battery, guys, ang pinakamalaking battery sa kanilang tatlo is si Realme 5 at saka si... Vivo Y12. And Samsung A10s naman is 4,000 mAh. So, yan guys, makita nyo yung performance ng mga batteries nila. So, sa draining guys, as you can see there, from 100% na kanilang battery lives, at tinest naman sila for like 30 minutes, dinain namin. And from 100% ng Realme 5 guys, is mumaba siya to 94%. Si Y12 naman from 100% is mumaba to 94% din. Okay, very good. And si A10s naman is mumaba siya to 92%. So, makita nyo yung pareho lang yung performance ni Y12 at ni Realme 5. It is because pareho lang din naman sila ang may 5,000 mAh battery. And nasa kanila namang heating, si Realme 5 nung hindi pa ginamit guys, meron siyang 
si White 12 naman meron siyang 32 degrees Celsius and si A10S meron siyang 33 degrees Celsius. At nung nagigamit na sila guys, si Realme 5 meron na siyang 34 degrees Celsius, si White 12 naging 34 degrees Celsius din. And si A10S naman is naging 35 degrees. Sa kanilang tatlo guys, yung mas mabibil mo na madali na ang init is kay Samsung A10S. And kay Realme 5 at saka Vivo White 12 is hindi naman masyado. And now guys, ang pinakahihintay ng lahat is ang gaming performance. Turnayin namin ang tatlong to sa PUBG. And as you can see there, kaya naman nila yung PUBG guys. Low setting. Pero meron nga lang mga minor lags na may experience mo kay Vivo Y12 at kay Samsung A10s. And ayan, si Realme 5 guys, sobrang smooth ng running game. And sa quality naman, or sa, let us say, sa graphic quality, mas maganda yung graphic quality ni Y12 dito. But then, I like the screen ni Realme 5 since mas malaki siya compared sa dalawa. And then, kay Samsung A10s naman is sobrang normal lang. And okay din naman yung graphic quality niya. Pero, ayun na nga, mas may umaangat kasi. So, now that we're done testing ng kanilang gaming, now let's proceed sa kanilang cameras. Ayan, guys, sa cameras naman nila. So, si Realme, guys, meron siyang 12MP quad camera. And then, si Vivo Y12 naman is meron siyang triple AI cameras. And... The main shooter niya is 13MP. And now, sa Samsung A10s, guys, is meron siyang dual rear camera. 13MP naman ang main shooter niya. And now, sa front camera naman, guys, si Realme 5 is meron siyang 13MP. Vivo Y12 naman is meron siyang 8MP. Same with Samsung A10s, na meron din siyang 8MP. Ayan, guys, so makikita niyo sa screen ang mga sample shots ko. And kayo na humusga kung saan sa kanila yung bet niyo. This is the front camera of Realme 5 and as you can see the quality is clear and it's not pixelated, it's smooth. This is Vivo Y12. The quality is good but it's quite different from the quality of Realme 5. It's not smooth and it's quite pixelated, I don't know why. And this is Samsung A10s and so far its quality is not far different from Realme 5. And now, sa kanila namang rear cam, guys, makita nyo ang mga sample shots ko. So, so far, um, okay naman silang tatlo. Ganda naman yung mga shots nila. Pero para sa akin talaga is mas umaangat si Realme 5. Kasi nga, mas elegant, mas clear, and mas vibrant yung kuha ng mga camera niya. Although sa rear, may mga times din na parang mas maganda yung kuha ni Samsung A10s. Minsan naman kay Realme 5. So, sa rear guys, it's either Realme 5 or... Samsung A10s. And sa front naman is Realme 5 pa rin ako. Next to it is Vivo Y12. And the third one is Samsung A10s. So guys, for a final verdict, actually, um, pagdating sa design guys, mas prefer ko yung mas latest. And I think sa kanilang tatlo, mas latest kasi doon si Realme 5 sa design. And next to it is yung design naman ng Vivo Y12. And last is Samsung A10s. So, kano yung preference nyo din? Comment nyo below. And then sa front naman, guys, display nila, mas malaki din yung display ni Realme 5 since meron nga siyang 6.5 inches, ba So, para sa akin, importante sa akin yung size ng screen din. And then, hindi naman naman nagpapatalo yung resolution kasi maganda din naman. So, para sa akin sa kanilang tatlo, mas maganda kasi mas malaki ang kay Realme 5 na screen. Pero sa quality naman, like sa resolution, mas bet ko si Vivo Y12. Ayun, so pagdating naman sa kanilang batteries, actually, mas prefer ko talaga yung mas malaki yung battery. So, go ako kay Realme 5 at saka kay Vivo Y12. And now, sa gaming naman, guys, makikita nyo naman, ba na kahit uh, mabigat na game, kaya naman nila, kaso nga lang, may minor lags doon kay Y12 at kay A10s. So, doon pa rin ako kay Realme 5. And pagdating naman sa cameras, guys, obvious naman kung saan sa kanila yung mas nag-stand out. Bet ko si Realme 5. 
So yun na guys, it's all up to you if saan sa kanila yung bet nyo. Comment nyo below. That's it. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys like this video, share this video to your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And by the way, isa shoutout ko muna, Gabriel Giacelon. Hi! Janbert Ketawa. Hi! Si Renz Larios. Hello! And last, I see Chris Chan De Leon. Hi! Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. I hope you guys will keep supporting my channel. That's it. Thank you and see you again till my next video. Bye!